Good morning and welcome to Jill Cameron Creations. We're going to go through how to set up a document for a digital stamp in Google Docs. The first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have the add-on page sizer and when you open Google Docs just click on the add-ons menu and then search for new add-on and be sure that you're logged in on the account that you want it on for your Gmail and allow access to the add-on and that's it that's all you have to do for an add-on um, for this particular one you can't adjust the margins so the very first thing that you need to do when you're setting up your document is go to file and page settings and then change your margins to 0.25 top bottom left and right uh, this is so that you have the most printable area on your document then we'll click on add-ons page sizer and set the page size to a custom size and I usually do a two size cards which are four and a quarter by five and a half click apply and now we have our page size and for to insert our digital um, stamp into and it, we can size it appropriately whether we want to um, insert that into a make a uh, one panel card and do a one layer card or if we wanted to um, insert something and size it and be able to cut it out or whatever we needed to do that just gives me the ability to see it proportionally um, I save that as 4.25 by 5.5 portrait so I know which one it is and then I make a copy of that by going to file and make a copy and I rename it to 5.5 by 4.25 landscape and uh, Google Docs automatically makes a copy of that for me and opens a new document and then I go to add on and page sizer and set up page and reverse my width and height setting so now I'll have a landscape document that I can use um, to insert a digital stamp in this I was making sure that it was safe because my internet was running really slow um, to insert a digital stamp into this file all we have to do is go to insert I'm getting there there we go all we have to do is go to insert image and we're going to upload from my computer but you can also select from drive and I wasn't logged into the account that I have all of my digital stamps saved on for so I couldn't do that but I can upload them from my computer which is in a different Google Drive and I have digital stamps saved here and I'm gonna pick something I think by Jade Dragon and go ahead and open that and ta-da there's my digital stamp and I can resize it appropriately make it a little bigger make it a little smaller do what I need to do to make sure that it's centered in my project and looks great you can also change the transparency on it so if you wanted to do um, like no line coloring you could do that as well just drop the transparency down on it and you have your normal stuff that if you inserted an image into anything you're in editing mode and click off of it now to print Google Docs doesn't allow you to print um, page sizes that aren't automatically part of Google Docs so this is a custom size as you can see it looks like it's going to print it on an eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper and it would sometimes you can go ahead and go into custom and change it to in your printer settings to custom to do four and a half four and a quarter by five and a half and go ahead and get it to print and that works however I don't get it to work that way um, I do have to <coughs> excuse me I do have to export this as a PDF uh, which is really easy in Google Docs you don't have to have anything special to do this um, so we're gonna go ahead and cancel that I just wanted to show you where you're, you set up where your preferences are 
Um, so you go to File and Download As and then go to PDF Document. And you don't have to save this. Um, it's going to open this in a new browser window for us and then we can print directly from that. Click on the printer icon and we're going to go down to use the system settings and go to preference and we're going to do the same exact thing um, and go to custom and set the page size in here. And after you get used to doing this, it doesn't take but a few seconds to create this document. Um, we do want to turn on the preview before printing. That way we can make sure that it's going to print on four and a quarter by five and a half because that's my actual paper size. You click print and see it's not, it's on a four and a quarter by five and a half because you don't have that much white space around it. Um, you can see everything is there. And I'm not going to print it, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to cancel that because I'm not going to print the document. But thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions on how to set up a uh, document for digital stamps, just give me a shout and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you so much for joining me. You have a great day.